Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of Cut on Wheels podcast. I'm your host, Kama Kawaida Cut, and today we are at the Black Rose Garage. For those of you who don't know Black Rose, Black Rose is a limited company where that is technology oriented with a marketing background, and we are at the Black Rose Garage where we uh, hold our podcast um, once a week. And today I'm with a guest. Um, one thing about this guy that I'm about to introduce to you is that he owns a GS because of his size. He cannot sit on a sport bike. He cannot ride a sport bike because of his size. That is a dream that will never happen in his life. Though I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just saying. Karibu sana, Vic Sam. Yes, Santi sana. Your intro na yonaji. Your intro iko sawa. Eh. Tunashukuru. Nimekuchomea? Ah, iko tu sawa. Bona sport bike na kulemeanga hivyo. Eh, manzi. Sisi we are those who are nasikia watu wakisema they are people who are vertically challenged. I think <laughs> us we were fully advantaged. Yeah. F- but fully disadvantaged pande ya sport bike yeah akuna disadvantage mm. no this is fa- fa- this is fast enough it's steady enough mm. and it can go anywhere i want and it favors you and it favors me so yeah. i don't count it as a disadvantage but you've also been having dreams of owning a sport well, bike as well uh, why didn't you have we one? might talk to bmw and see whether they can design something customized ah. for our height i talk to ayaya and akatanga machuma hapa anaweza kuwekea wheelbase apanue labda tuchukue ile r6 yako tuone kama tutapanua kidogo no that one is a no go zone so we draw the line but karibu sana to my show man it's so good to have you uh you're the new chairman of uh tika road republic Oh yes. Yeah, congratulations man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I know it happened Kitambo but it's still fresh. Oh yes. Yeah, so what are some of the plans to mpangia watu wa the Republic? Ah, the Republic my friend. So easy tuna tuna move car movement. Mm. Uh and uh, a number of things are in the pipeline. Mm. I know there is a game night coming a lot uh, coming very soon yeah. that will be happening regularly. Yeah. Uh that's p- uh, probably three or four times a year. Uh, oh, four, three or four we, times. Yeah, we've been working on something for the ladies. At least we did the first ride for the ladies. Yeah, it was really good. It went well. Ah, yes, you were there. Yeah, big success. Karibu sana. I was a he for yeah. she. Karibu sana. That was the first time I had that word. I was a he for she. Oh, yes. Because Leonard Rogers, just, I didn't understand. But when I Googled, I said, okay, yeah, fine, I could come. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the ladies were kind enough. You know, they allowed us and it was a really good experience. Unajua hata Biblia inaitaga the man the protector at the end of the day. Man so, the, as the protector. Yeah, as the protector. Mm. We have to protect the ladies. So mm. it's not that they are not able or they are not capable mm. but the man still got to be the man at the end of the day. Ah. So yeah, uh, uh, the next one that we are working on is something for the ladies as well. Mm. Uh, so you'll be seeing the ladies in the wakiwa meva overall taking hey. their bike trying to open and checking all their bikes mm. themselves because mm. uh, it's a skill that every biker needs to learn ama we are trying to eliminate uh, mechanics wakora wenye wanapenda they know that women can't fix bikes kwanza hapo sana sana as i said we are here to take care of our ladies ah that is really nice interesting oh, yeah. mm. so these are some of the policies how many plans mmekuja nazo for oh, yeah this yeah. year for and, this uh, year for the next coming and for the next and mo- hopefully uh, even the next office will build on it because the whole concept is at least from the era of constar to the era of uh, banesta now to my era into the next era we build on each other's shoulders mm. so we don't necessarily have to start afresh mm. so uh, all the things that constar uh, institu- uh, instituted mm. they are still there and they are still running mm. the things that banesta added they are still there and they are still running mm. the things that are, i will institute and add will continue even for the next generation so we want to True. be to be able to grow on each other because at the end of the day uh, i don't see that concept of breaking things to start afresh yeah it, it don't work. make sense it don't make mm. sense yeah. like i know for instance there's a very big issue going on currently with the thicker road nyumbakumi i do understand that we are like 370 members and uh, we're trying to figure out because not all the members participate no, they don't even make it to a quarter right oh yeah but um i'm of a different idea i know ma- many people are all about let's close the group or send a link and then recreate afresh get people to come in the whole idea nika kutoa wase nje ya class alafu waambie waingie tena moja moja the noise makers will still come in they will <laughs> come in noise. but they will still make noise uh-huh. the silent ones will still come in the same door again they will still go to the, the back bench and still be quiet mm. but now my question I, i i i even post this question to to my leadership the leadership group mm. and i was like why don't we come up with idea of activating the 370 members who are already there and then get them active because for example there are a number of ladies who've been quiet 
mm. until we started ladies initiatives in this group mm. now all of a sudden they have been like oh yeah i we feel included in mm, this involved yeah. involved in this you know now they show so up. that is a concept that we are working on mm. where the whole idea of closing groups you have been in many groups you have seen this happen over and mm. over again mm. geo we start afresh we close the group we, we start afresh those things don't work but the question is how can i get to you my me as a leader that question should be posed to me not to the members mm. so what could uh, what do i need to do to get cutis to attend the pizza meetup mm. is it relevant to cutis to attend rather than the pizza just excommunicating him exactly okay because there is something that we we are either not doing or there is a question that we are not answering that they have in their mind mm. that once we answer it they mm. will be full on active Mm. Yeah so that's uh, that's the trajectory that we are taking instead of just going the concept of to funge to anze tena But do you really think this idea could work because you know there are also other other reasons that are concerning in regards to having a lot of people in the group and they're not participating for example yeah. the insecurities like you know recently we had a scammer you had yeah. that story yeah? yeah this guy went on to dm group members asking for help pretending that he got into an accident but in real sense he did not get into an accident So when people are trying to do a follow up to find out who is this there are even questions like how did this person end up in the group mm. so what are some of the criteria um, as a chairman you planning to implement uh, to use uh, so that a member a biker can be added to a group like how how is the um, process supposed to be like so now this process actually as i said it's something that was already instituted even in the previous um, regimes mm. it's just that now we are kind of a bit vigilant on the same Mm. The question is coming uh, for example um one of the things that we want to do is or rather we have already done mm. y- if you have noticed that any official communication that is going out mm. it has to go th- by Kanyagi Kanyagi gets to be the organizing secretary mm. so it has to be it has to go through the secretary's docket to the members mm. so if there is someone who has uh who needs for cause for one reason or the other we are community we are family and for one reason or the other you will need some assistance so the communication has to come from the leadership mm. not from the individual mm. unless it's an emergency which ultimately we all get to quickly vali- uh, uh, verify it mm. and from how you have seen even if a biker goes down we are all there very quickly we are able to respond but when it comes to matters cash especially mm. where someone wants to ask cartis in side unless it's a friendship thing it's a separate thing but if you're involving tika road nyumba kumi first of all it has to go through the leadership that way we, we we it's like first layer of of vetting mm. the second thing that is coming in is um we are reinstituting that concept of the ice documents where if Curtis is a new member and you want to join the karod nyumbakumi mm. the first thing you have to do is fill that ice so once you do you will fill it you will tell us the bike that you're riding you will tell us uh, the, your insurance number you know your insurance at the end of the day you will tell us all the details that we need to get to know including your next of kin mm. so that way we are able to verify this is a biker because how how are you a biker if you don't even have a dl for bike for the bike mm. so some of those things are the things that we need to follow through because again and one of them need if, uh, uh, which again we have already uh, re, re, uh, more, more like um, shared afresh for the group members to fill it as well the ice document this has a lot of advantages because if someone falls if someone goes down we are able to quickly know a hey, that is uh, so and so their blood group is this so it's easier to even get them help whenever we need and then we can be able to reach out to their family members that way we are able to uh, get them the necessary help and the family gets to be involved so that's why we are working on that being the criteria of people joining the group So recently there was a problem I had someone mentioning that you know there are people who are feeling next of kin and putting mm. their own number mm. or yeah. giving another number are you, are you guys planning to handle that situation especially because maybe some people don't understand why you need a next of kin why yeah. or maybe what a next of kin is yeah. maybe they some of them are doing it deliberately or some of them just playing around you know so in there are a number of things that we we are reworking one uh, the masomo thursday we we are introducing now beyond going about bikes like this week we were we were learning about the cornering concepts uh, you know uh 
but now we are going beyond it where we'll also be introducing and, and Edu has uh, the one who's handling our safety docket has a very interesting concept where he'll be bringing on board professionals uh, where they can get to answer some of these questions from the members like we bring in a doctor they get to be in the group for the for the day where we get to uh, bombard them with the, que with the questions that we have and they get to explain the need of some of these things. You know, sometimes I can emphasize on the need of the ICE document and, the, uh, for example, the blood group. But when the doctor comes in and explains exactly why we need such information, you know, to some, there's someone who will feel, I think I understand that it That makes better. sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And also, um, by the mere fact we have already noticed there is a problem, that shows you that when the, when the forms are filled, we just don't, you know, they are not just filled and no one gets to go through them. Mm. We actually get to scrutinize them and be like, yo, there is no way, Curtis, you can be filling your name and you are the one who is next of kin. You are the one who is a god of your, of you are the god of it all. When it comes to you, it's you, yourself and you, you know. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we need, we, we need that accountability as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. It answers a lot, a uh, lot of questions. Yeah. Uh, there was also there, there, okay. There are many issues going on, but I'm sure you guys have it all. Yeah. Uh, great. You know something like the game nights. Are mm. these things? Uh, is it like is it going to be in one location, or uh, we'll be moving around from one place to another? Uh, we'll be moving around from one place to another. One of the ways. One of the. Um, how, uh, I know there is a primary agenda, and a secondary agenda. So the primary agenda is for the members to have that concept, for them to bond one mm -hmm. and for them to have their own personal relationship with each other. You know, there is a way that we, uh, when you hear some, there's something that is happening with some. For example, in this case, I recently got married. Mm -hmm. And uh, during my wedding, you are one of the people who actually... Uh, wh who was out mm. riding? Yeah, and you actually I brought the rings. You brought the rings yeah. down the aisle with your bike. Yeah, and Pastor Sam, you know, yeah. yeah. So, and the only reason as to why you could be able to do it real quickly because you're like, ah, Sam is my boy, you know, because mm. I know Curtis, Curtis knows Sam. Mm. So, w w if that's the case, the game night brings together the members and you get to know each other beyond, ah. you know, that's mm. one of social, that's, that's yeah. yeah, the social element. That's mm. that's the primary agenda, that's the primary reason. There is a secondary agenda here. Mm. The secondary agenda comes in where, more often than not, the places that we'll be picking are places either they are they, they are nice and kind to the bikers, or they have been a bit hostile to them uh, to the uh, biking community. Mm. Why? We need to come to where they are, because some of these people will never understand who we are until we show them. Recognition. You know. Recognition. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, um, if we have an issue with. Uh, for, <laughs> Let me just share this. Like, for example, Sarit. Mm. Sarit, uh, they have this parking on one side, but you can't, as a biker, you can't access the new parking. They assume you are all border borders. They, they, don't, know, border they borders. don't know the difference between you know, private bikers. Exactly. Uh. But we have never shown them that there is a difference. Yeah, so yeah. what happens when 300 bikers roll in into the joint? And beyond just rolling in, you want to charge us for parking? Fine. Give us good parking. We'll, ca we'll park. And then we'll pay for the parking. And on top of it, we'll go to your bowling alley. We'll pay for those games. Yeah. You know, I mean, we'll bring yeah. Biashara to you. So at the end of the day, you're like, oh, these are actually our clients. Mm. So the moment you realize, the moment we show them that uh, we, we matter and we are a community and we are a movement. I know when I started, I said we are, we are moving as a movement. Mm. So when you realize that this is a movement mm. and these are your clientele base, at the end of the day, you will treat your client mm. better. Because client is king at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Client you know? is king. So if, uh, if we get to revolve this around where on one day we are at Village Market. By the way, shout out to Village Market. Yeah, big shout out yeah, to Village they Market. They always have a parking. For private, for private bikers. bikers. And that is what I was about to yeah. say. I have, never s I have never seen anywhere, even for the border borders, I've never yeah. seen anywhere where a bike has to pay for parking. They have their own parking uh, allocated, you know. Yeah. Because probably we're not staying there for long and we're not occupying a big space. Yeah. But when you go to Village Market, they put there, you know, this is for private bikers. It's and like and they Waterfront know. as well. Waterfront, they did. In They're fact, doing actually, that they have marked the, the, the... They have actually drawn bikes on a whole parking lot. For private bikers. For private bikers. Wow, shout out so, to you guys. So the, nice. and, and the movement is happening, you know. Oh, this is nice. Uh, a step mm. at a time, every, uh, we, we will get there. Awareness, we'll get eh? there, you Now know. they're getting yeah, to Awareness. I, I recently was at West, Westgate and they allowed my bike to go all the way to the parking lot. Yeah, Westgate, they allow you so go yeah, all the way up. At the end of the day, it, it, it's, it's a movement that we are creating mm. and when we show value, we get treated equally the same. 
So yeah, mm-hmm. that's something that we are working on. Ah, this is this is great, man. This is very excellent. Actually, even with the previous guys, uh, they didn't have such an idea. But this I, d- I remember good. the previous regime, there is something that they did, and it, it was actually that concept of in one week's time, we need response, you know, <laughs> and, and it was responded. Because there is a mall, I don't want to name it for now. For, name it. Uh, you it's know. sure the same as a the <laughs> village market. There is a mall called, it was a mall called, Tika Road. TRM. No, no, TRM. Mm. We passed it Juja City Mall. Juja City Mall. So yeah. Juja City Mall, at some point, they they, you know, they had an altercation with the private bikers. Mm. But when it was raised in the group, mm. it only took one week. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, and there was a response. That guy was allowed. Yeah, hey. and beyond that, they actually went ahead to create a way. Like now, they were they were warm to the private bikers. Mm moving forward mm. so these are advantages that, that are is there. not a bad thing yeah it's a good thing actually mm. so we keep we keep building and and uh, and as i was saying we keep building from from the known to unknown mm. yeah so that's something that we are working on hopefully that we, we can get to a place that we can even lobby with the government mm. where we can say yo this is a movement we are you know having 300 members is not such a small thing mm. and then when you combine and then here's the other thing that that um we are actually working on it's in the pipeline still mm. where now we go beyond thick around Jumbakumi. you know the concept of you have nuclear family but you have also the extended family mm. so we want to see which activities can we do and then invite uh lower kabete Jumbakumi. You know, mm. we invite Kiamburo to Nyumbakumi. For a competition. Yeah, because yeah, uh, like last year, Thika Road Nyumbakumi took all the there awards was. wherever we were going, you know, as the best. Because we Nyumbakumi. have legends. Yeah. <laughs> at, but at the end of the day, now, if we are, I, I would say we've been moving as the benchmark mm. for so many things. Mm. Now, how about beyond people watching us from afar, how about we welcome them and show them this is how we do it? No, that would this be nice. This is how we do our meetings. This is how we do our pizza meetups. This is how we do our rides. This is how we take care of our ladies, you know. Mm. At the end of the day, we get to be the benchmarkers and the pace setters. Because this community goes beyond me, myself, and I, you know. You are Thikarudu Nyumbakumi member, but something can happen to you while you're in Kiamburud. It's the Kiamburud Nyumbakumi that will take care of you before we even get to respond. Yeah. yeah. Your Around here, oh, along yeah. thicker road, yeah. Mm. Mm. So, talking of government, when are you planning to meet up with Sakaja? You need to tell him that we, we want the expressway, and he needs to know we are private bikers. Yeah, you know he needs to know that Sakaja, this is this is a private bike, even though uh, in quotes there are border borders, but it's a private bike, and uh, he can allow us to use the expressway, right? Yeah. So, so, as I said, some of these things we are now. This is where we get to lobby beyond the Nyumbakumi to the uh, to the Pibak level. Because now the private bikers association gets to help us uh, lobby with uh, on such items because they are recognized by the government framework. Mm. So it is in the pipeline. Yeah, and Pastor Sam has actively been pursuing it. So yes. So it's likely to work. How long are we supposed to wait? We uh, once I get the response, I'll share. <laughs> so uh, enough mm. about now. Um, your position as the chairman and the yeah. plans you've set this is really amazing and congratulations and Thank i'm you. looking forward to seeing how this thing will progress now let's go about uh, your now your biking journey okay mm. so when did you start riding mm-hmm. and which bike did you start with and how did you end up here is it because of this influencer here or let me tell you uh Oyaya is not a good human being <laughs> because <laughs> when when he gives you <laughs> when he gives you a big bike to ride for two days, what does that do to you? It it, it automatically makes you want to go higher. Definitely. Definitely. And sometimes you're like, he gave you his bike. Yeah, there is a bike. He gave me an RT, a 1200, mm. for a week. And he told you he told you to get Let lost. Let me tell you. After he gave me that bike, I stayed for six months without a bike, saving up. Because I could not get myself to go any lower. Why? Let me, the experience is... No, but when you have this bike what? and you have an R1M or S1K, are you going lower? No. You're just changing the no. the game. BMW is a different monster. Nah. I think that's yes, how I would explain mean, it. Eh? Yeah. Okay. It's a different monster All on right. its own kind. Especially mm. this boxer engine and the, sh- and the combination with the shaft. Mm. It's a completely different environment. Mm. So... You asked when, when, when this journey started. Mm. I would say mm. this journey yeah, yeah, started no. um, in, uh, in the 90s. Ah. Uh. Yes. This is how it started. Bro, but you're 24. 
How is that? <laughs> I'm actually 30. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, turning. Uh, no, I'm actually 31. Uh, just <laughs> celebrated my birthday on the 22nd. <laughs> so, okay. this is how the journey started. I was born in Limuru. Mm-hmm. And uh, I stay at the junction of, um, I- it's called the Kiambu Limuru T Junction. The road that goes to Nazareth. The road that takes you to the twisties. Uh, Karirana. Karirana. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm at the end of that road. Mm. That's where I was born and bred. Mm. Born and raised. That car space, I used to see, there used to be five specific super bikes that used to cross. So I used to walk to school every, every day, go uh, about five kilometers and come back. But during my walk, there are bikes that used to come from the Karirana side. And I said, five super bikes. Mm. And one used to be a chick because of how the helmet was. Mm. And we could see. This is a mama because there is a way the, uh, she decorated her, her helmet. Mm, with some ponytails yeah, and stuff no. like that. You know how they <laughs> do it. And she used to keep up with those boys as well. So, like, those bikes were aggressive. Mm. And the way that they used to. Yani, Ziliko was in a guruma on a skia too. Wow. You said super bike. Super bikes. Those super were super bike. bikes. Okay. Yeah, point to note. Yeah, point worry. to note, we, really. We'll we, get, we, back, we'll we, get we, back to that. Uh, 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 <laughs> put a pin on that, you know. <laughs> yeah, super so, bike. Super bike. Uh-huh. Hey, man, say those bikes used to guru ma, my friend. Mm. Hey. So that's the love of bikes mm. started there. Mm. Just looking. So every every now and then, um, we have to go to school, we have to bikes. Mm. Either they are coming or going, you mm. know. Mm. Ay, man, say those bikes. Hey. They used to, when they have those engines, so that's where I fell in love with the bikes. I was in primary school. Then I, I was like, hey, one day, <laughs> one day. It a jeeper. Know, it a jeeper. But how it a jeeper, I didn't know. Mm. Uh, having, again, the reason as to why we were walking and we were never using school bus, you know, uh, from humble backgrounds. Mm. So now imagine you're walking for five kilometers and five kilometers back and you're looking at a bike and you're like, one day, you know. And Look, when you grow up bike. with Kinawa Jomo Kinyata, ah. you're riding, you're walking, you're, you went <laughs> to school five kilometers fighting with the hyenas uh, and all that. At least the hyenas <laughs> Just were, <like> <laughs> were sorted out. They were no longer there by then, but the walking, my guy. Na kubeba vibuza maji na slashers mukienda siju kufanya clean up shule. Hey, those days. Did you ever, sorry to cut you short, did you ever get to know which bikers these were? No. Because if you're saying in the 90s. I, I never got to know them because this is was this was in, in, um, in uh, no, by the time now they are coming, they are, they are coming back. The time now I'm looking at these bikes differently. This was in the 2000s. Steve, that is one of the guys I had used to ride back in the days. Probably like, he was. That, yeah. probably I don't know with his check. brother or who. Probably I should. I, I actually will follow up to get to know who these bikers were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll definitely do that homework. Mm. Um, so now fast forward. Fast forward. Nimemaliza uh, shule, nimemaliza high school, nimeingia kole. I used to love events because one of the things that I do, um, maybe for the guys who are online, you can check out Big Man Upbeat is my handle. Big Man Upbeat. Big Man Upbeat. Uh, I run an outfit called Back to Basics Concepts. Um, yeah. And uh, Back to Basics Concepts has been doing, um, the, the, the it's called the Bikers Family Fest. So the Bikers Family Fest has been uh, in existence for quite a while. So the family fest. The family fest. So how it was born basically is I started doing events while I was in high school. Mm. I loved events that much. Mm. I was in in Kanunga High School. For those of uh, of you who know where that that, that sh- uh, shule is. Where is that? It's, it's in Kiambu. Sisi ni wale wase tulikuwa tuna tuna we we were known for many different reasons but in our, in our tenure <laughs> in our tenure so be, uh, uh, the people who are before us in high school mm. the school was known for strikes hey, man, hey, say, kuchoma kwa, kwa but by the time we were coming in we we, re- we rewrote that whole narrative mm. how we did was when we were pissed by something in school we used to sit and agree with the captains we we're like this is not working but instead of us throwing stones and chomaying this school and breaking all these glasses, and then we go home because of kuna siju yeida kitu waikuwa inawako well, kuna kitu waikuwa tufraishi, and then we come back and our parents have to pay afresh. And you remember, this when these charges were, were kind of punitive because 
th- we used to pay three times what you broke. Yeah, I remember like yeah. you get a fence on the whole the entire thing. Now so, you're 10 people coming with the same thing. Where do they go? Thing. <laughs> so we were like eh, no, they start, the math is not mathing here. <laughs> and we will they will be delays. So we will have to extend or so we will lose time because she let to lichoma. So mm. in our tenure what we used to do is we decided we will not do that. Mm. See our grievances, we have grievances that we feel are not heard. Mm. So what we used to do is one of the the most memorable ones we were at the assembly. Mm. Now assembly, anytime we do the school anthem, we used to do the school anthem only when we are closing school. Mm-hmm. Only. Mm. So this one time to go assembly to look at normal assembly to Nigeria class. Mm. But after assembly, the pr- the principal hears the, 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 the anthem being sung. Mm. So the teachers were so confused. Mm. But what we did is we sang the anthem and we walked out of school. Just like that. And we were led by the captains. So we were like, uh, let's go. What did we do? We walked. We went out, picked the matatus. We went all the way to Nation Center. See, to do what? See, you can't hear our grievances. Mm. So let us take our grievances where to they the had. Mm. And then after that, we came back to school. So the, the guards are like, oh, no, no, no. We were like, open that gate. <laughs> and then when we came back, it was Gioni, and we were like, eh, so we missed tea break, we missed lunch, and now we need our supper. We want all those meals combined. Serve them together, all of them. So that's how we changed the concept of striking. So instead, just walk out. Mm. Go to no need to breaking things. No need to break things. No need to lose a lot of time to do doing what. Just walk out. Mm. And I hope the guys who, if you're still burning your school, hey, my friends, if you get to watch this podcast, you better change, change the narrative you know. now. Yeah. Mm. So fast forward, uh, in Kole, I started do. So in high school, I, I used to do events. Na tulikuwa na ile booth, iyo ndio phone booth. Nile ulgo na eka coins. So we used to ring some guys to let a sound, to let a nini. We organize an event. That's my passion for events started there. Mm. Uh, fast forward, I'm in Kole. I'm like, eh, me, I'm, I'm big on families, bana. Uh, I was raised by a single parent uh my dad raised us and and we turned out awesome and i was like how much more if a family is united so that's where family fest was born from Mm -hmm. so we started doing that event one after the other after the other and then at some point i was like when we were the sixth edition it's like no i think i like bikes so much by then mind you but i I haven't started biking but no bike no bike which year is this now now this is 20 we're talking about 2016 Mm, okay. Around 2016, 2017, I'm, I'm in so much. Uh, I'm in, in love with bikes, but I haven't started biking, and I was clear. Uh, I want to start the first event not with the border border. Let's do the super bikes. Let's do those bikes. So I didn't know about private bikers until I nikajituma to no no one linked me up to anyone. Me nikanza to Google. I landed on on a page that was saying moto. They were called motorcycle Kenya. And these were Akina Chua, Njeri, Pastor Sam, Pastor Nick. Those are the guys that I met. Mm. So when I met them, I was like, guys, I have this desire, I have this, um, uh, and I, I would like for there to be A, B, C, D. And we started. So we did our first event, I, th- I believe it was in 2018. The first Bikers Family Fest. Yes, the ba- fa- and it was at Waterfront. Mm. So when we did the first Bikers, and it was sponsored by More Sound, mm. then it was uh, Safaricom came in. Uh, it was quite a successful event, and that was our first interaction with the bikers. But then after that, I was like, hey, man, this love for these bikes, I have to do something about it. So I looked for Pastor Sam. And I was like, yo, I need a bike. So that's how I was. Uh, Pastor Sam s- looked for my first bike, and I started with a ZMR. That was my first bike. The red one, eh? The red one. I remember it. So it was red and white, but uh, we, we made it red, you know. <laughs> yes. Uh, th- th- and, and Pastor Sam actually was the one checking everything for me because I didn't know jack about bikes. So this is now 2019? This 19. is 2019. 20, actually, this is 2020. Hmm. 
This we are talking about 2020. Okay. So that's when Pastor Sam checked you and Aniangalia and Yambia Mutu and Ivi and for the for the jacket you need to go look for a brand called Ferro or see you look for Held and then here is the number go look for Shakim go look for this he gave me so many options mm. and then he was like for parts uh, there are people who are who do genuine there are people who, who see who see uku, enda uku. you know so Pastor Sam was really instrumental in guiding me on what to get, which helmet to get, which, like, he he was very gracious in it. And then Choa was the other person. So I was like, when Pastor Sam told me, hey, there's a ZDMR, I called Choa. Choa was like, I also have a ZDMR. Actually, go for the ZDMR. So that's how the, the, the biking, that's how I learned that the biking community, so long as you're willing to be, you're willing to ask, the people are not selfish with this information. They will guide you. But if you are there saying you are you are dictating, you think you know it all. <laughs> Itakuramba. Yeah, Itakuramba, my friend. So that's how, because I, now I started hearing stories of how people said their first bike, the Waligongo, said what happened with their first bike. Yeah, so even I mean, Max was here, Juzi. He said yeah. the same thing. Scammers. Scammers. Mm. But the, the way to avoid scammers is, there is a reason as to why some people went ahead of you. Why don't you just ask? It's as simple as asking a question. And they will sort you out. But you know the things you might be asking, and you're asking as scammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is where you need to be to 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 get to know the right people. Mm, yeah. So, so at least channels. at least me, I knew a bit uh, uh, a number of people are in Njeri from Pibac, because Njeri had as a Demar as well. Um, Victoria, in fact, Victoria was the first person to. Uh, when we took the bike, Victoria is the one who was guiding me through the roads. So yeah. In as much as one of the reasons as we as we are taking care of the ladies, I was taken care by a lady when I was starting bike, the, the, my biking journey. Mm. So after that, after I did the ZDMR for like an year, um, that's now 20, up to 2021. Mm. So 2022, uh, again, I used to come uh, to Oya's garage for, to be, to, for a few things to be fixed here and there. Uh, and then th I found that he was selling um, a DL650 Suzuki. Mm. So that's where I, uh, he introduced me to, to a different form of bike. Because mm. I used to get, my, my, my back used to hurt, but I didn't understand why. Kumbi, and this is why, again, you are not working my out. love for the, for, the, for the, no, I was working out. But my love for the super bikes, this is where we divorced with it because. Nah, you couldn't Yoku handle Inama, it because friend. you couldn't handle it. <laughs> so apparently that bike was too small. I didn't, I didn't know that, uh, again, when you don't get the right bike, you uh, there are repercussion to it because mm. now I used to have an upper back problem that and I didn't pelvic, understand. Manenos. Oh, yeah, but now when when I introduced me to the DL 650, now the the, the adventure, mm. I was like, ah, this is a different now. I'm no longer having this back aches and sitting like, straight, sitting straight. I was like, and hey, going, this is this is life, <laughs> this is life banner. So I did, I did the DL 650 <laughs> for two months, mm. but now the person we are getting it from had his own issues for some reason here and there. He decided he's no longer selling it. He saw the bike there, hey, we did some upgrades. Mm -hmm. So the, we were buying it off of a payment plan. Mm -hmm. We did upgrades, Banner, to that bike. So, cause I was- Like ride to own. Oh yeah. <laughs> we? Hey, there can be a character development. He After saw- You he did came, all those- uh, He came, saw the bike, he was like, hey, hey, this bike looks nice. He's like, I want my, I want cash, all of it now. That you didn't have an agreement written or something? Everything was there. Everything was on paper. Uh -huh. But then I decided, me, you want your bike. See, it's still under you. After you did all those... Yes. Uh, Imagine. I was like, you want your bike? It's still under your name. Me, I don't fight. There are things I don't fight. Just refund me for this and Shika this. Shika your bike. As it, you didn't get your... No, I asked for the refund. Mm -hmm. I did ask for the refund. Mm. Um, but you see, because I was buying it via wire, he had to handle that. So me, I got my refund. Mm. From Oyaya, Oyaya is the one to deal with, that, to person, deal yeah. with that person. But mm. our, it was sad. It was such a sad um, thing to do because that's, uh, we that's were willing. We were that's, willing to that's go insane. all the way. Yeah, but you don't do that. But now, why you? As you said, if car bike niako. Again, look at where we landed after. Yeah, it's even a. Uh, uh, yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'll save up, and you, I'll not do those payment plans anymore. Let me stay without a bike for, for a while. So within those six months, um, Oya was selling an RT. Mm. <coughs> so I remember I took it for a ride for, for, for a week. Mm. I was like, this is it. 
But then still, I don't want something low. But this engine, this is exactly it. Because mm. it had a boxer engine. Mm. So after we got to know, uh, so this is where the direction that I want. Mm. I decided, let me de- just stay without riding for a while, for six months. Mm. Saved up. Uh, my wife was very instrumental in actually getting me the bike. Mm. Uh, she, she Your wife? Yeah. She encouraged me. She saved together with me. Hey, how rare is this, man? You know, yeah. So, in fact, I, I credit her because without her, this bike could not be here. Otherwise, Ingekua, it's, if it was up to me, maybe Ingekua two years. Hey, nice. I'm to my shout out. Yeah, shout out to my wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she knows who she is. That Bro, is you make it look like marriage is a beautiful thing. Ah, huh? It is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Why lie? Marriage is a beautiful thing. Mm. With the right person, of With course. The, to the right person, of mm. course. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Does she write to? She, she is a professional pillion. Ah, I'm so mad you. Yeah. Yeah, me. Professional pillion. Ana kuja na helmet yake. Kila kitu. Yeye ni kukadwa hapo wewe. Kukaa tu kubebwa. Wewe ni kusoma. Ah, nice. Okay, yeah. Mimi acha niendelee kuwa a designated rider. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, that's how after six months I landed on 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 a new bike. Um someone was selling this beauty and I took it. And I was like, yes. Where do you get it? Uh, it's it's uh, again. It was from Kaveke. I know probably you know him. Kaveke who? Yeah, uh, he's he's a designer. He's the one actually who did my wedding suit. Oh really? But yeah. I don't know why people think I know a lot of bikers. I just okay. started riding the other day. Don't worry, you'll be yeah. introduced to them pretty yeah. soon. So yeah. you got it from Kaveke? Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and 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 it was again owing to the previous experience i had with mm. with the bike se- argument and sales this one was completely different actually mm. ah he was gracious with it um if i had a question or a query he could address it as soon as you know so i felt that the experience was completely different so i realized ah so hapa nje kila mtu wa fanani so they are different good human beings out here so yeah and on top of it as i was explaining to you he did my wedding suit yeah, yeah, but it was looking neat. Oh, yeah, and mm. Kaveke is actually a proper, proper designer. Like when Kenya is sending Sijui who to represent them abroad, Kaveke is one of those guys. I'm sure he's a Kaunda Zaruto. By the way, look up Kaveke on, online. Just Kaveke? Yeah, just look up Kaveke. Ah, yeah, nice. He's amazing. He's I amazing. will. Mm. So, yeah, that's, that's my journey when it comes to biking. Um, and so far, this is where we're at. So far, you liking it? Hey, I'm loving it. Uh, how much was this unit? Do you have to go there as well? No, you don't have to. Actually, this question I normally ask people, but it's very optional. You don't yeah. have to. Or even if you have to tell us, I'll, I'll still mute it. Yeah, for the guys who normally ask me, why are you muting the price? You know, probably if when someone wants to resell the bike, probably maybe yeah. to upgrade something. It can be higher kidogo, pia in a depend ni model gani. Kunoja kuna ingino anawuzanga bikes zao because they are going through something and they mm. need quick cash. Yeah. So they'll sell it at a loss. But there's some people who want to upgrade and they sell their bikes be a juki dogo and they get people who too. don't want to sell like uh, like oyaya <laughs> he doesn't want to sell his bike but everyone <laughs> Why would he want, sell? everyone keeps bidding i was uh, i personally before i got this you know semanga i bike ni mepitia vitu mingi sana sai ako na attachment issues hmm. it's he cannot sell it because i hezi kuambia be at the end of the day ata mpe 10 million let me tell you e bike anyway now i have a bigger one but ni sawa so yeah. This I is mean, bigger. This is bigger yeah. than this one. It's a GSA. This is a GS. What's the difference? Look at the tank. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Oh yes, we like it big. <laughs> yeah, but there I see the difference actually. Now you do. Mm. Yeah. But uh, in terms of CC, it's the same. It's 1200, 1200. I believe it's 2016, 2016. And this one. So, so the only difference is the size. And the more ideally. like the appearance. Yeah, ideally. But everything is similar. Other than that, nothing. Mm, uh, other than that. Apart from the India mechanic. Of course, of course, here yeah, mechanic is on a mod mingi. Mm. Apart from that, it's <laughs> pretty much. My improvisation. Hey, 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 bike, my guy. If it was to go on sale, I think it would be a car auction. Yani, it's a building. Going in once. Quite, hey, going in twice. Hey. It, I, l- yeah. I love Bado if he can he pick up by That's mm-mm. not what I signed up for. So even me at this point, I'm not selling my unit. It, no no thoughts. No thoughts. Because mm. even if I upgrade, not unless I sell because I have a second bike. But now I understand him actually. Because you can invest so much in a bike and also You get attached. If if 
and also it if it's treating you nicely you know you don't need to dispose of it why that you don't make sense yeah, it's mm. this one is treating me uh, well uh it takes the road off road uh, even if we have f- we fallen a number of times it can take you a have. hit yeah it with can this take one a hit yeah with this one hey if i tell you the stories of first of all falling Kwanza, wait, wait. Did you sold the zdmr yeah. yeah i sold the zdmr so you've only had two bikes ideally the other one we're not going to count because it had Correct. controversies yeah so i've only <laughs> had two bikes <laughs> Aukona Aukona kia chilia. Hey, let me tell you again going back to having the right wife she she's the one who helped me even through the six months of waiting me i'm not a patient person what was she doing Ebu, now, now i'm curious okay let's suspend biking kidogo <laughs> let's talk about this marriage of yours like what what difference do you think there is but okay you, you've not been single for for nini um yeah i'd say yeah yeah like what what difference do you see there could have been in if you are trying to go through this uh, situation alone Because yeah. honestly you've credited your wife a couple of times. I would have times. landed in another mess mm-hmm. in between there. Masira. Maybe like three more. <laughs> lost a number of uh, and, and uh, lost money, <laughs> lost faith in biking. Like mm. it, it would have been uh, So what did she used to tell you? I remember she used to tell me uh there's delayed gratification. Hey. And there's patience. Hey, she she taught me patience. Delayed gratification. Yes. And then she's like, let me ask you You say you want a GS. For example, a GS is you're saying a second hand unit is about 1.5 million, yeah? And you're saying this other one that you are, you want to buy is 900,000. So unasema unataka kununua bike and then we shikilie and then now you have to either resell to top up to buy another the one that you want. Why not be just patient for once? And then get the unit that you actually want. One, you'll get a unit that haina mashida mashida mingi. You don't have to do to unalala gagara every now and then, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, it will be easier for you to just wait, be patient. If the issue is saving, I will help you save. So now it's like, now it's two for one. Now it's no longer one person doing it. And we actually made it work. So at the end of the day, let me tell you, even that other unit that we are not going to talk about, The number of times I used to visit the garage <laughs> compared to this But one. But you're pimping it. It was now let me tell you. This one I'm doing cosmetics on it. Okay? The other one we were sorting first of all it Some was mechanical issues. It was neglected. Ah. So we were sorting a lot of issues. On this one it was by and ride. Now the next thing I come I it's, it's that concept of come to Ayas I see something nice on his bike I'm like I want that too. Mm. You know. Keep your mimi. Keep your Copy mimi. paste. Yeah and the biggest thing that we need to fix on this bike ni changing oil, changing air filter, mm. changing the spark fl- plug. Almost the usual bike maintenance. The, exactly. Mm. So the experience is completely different. Mm. So even when you hear me co- uh, constantly crediting my wife it paid off and I can see what she was seeing that I wasn't seeing. Me and you I wanted a bike and I want a bike now. Mm. Want like two wheels kwa mlango. Kwa mlango, that's it. <laughs> yeah, nakwambia breathe. You want a bike but in reality it's actually what you want. Mm. So she was she was really encouraging in that whole process. So yeah, that's why I credit her. Where do you get such women? Let me tell you, they are here. We we start, sometimes we ignore them. <laughs> they are right here before you. <laughs> They're in your circle. How do we ignore them? <laughs> you know, I met my wife in 2015. Mm. And as much as we got married in 2023, mm. I met her in 2015. Mm. We, sta- we became friends for a very long time mm-hmm. before even we decided to get married. So trust you me. They like in, in, in college or? No, at a Bible study. Ah, yeah. that's that's the answer. That's the question I asked and the answer I was looking for. Now you are just saying at they are just right here we're ignoring oh, them. Yeah, Who no, goes no. to Bible studies? No, 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 tell there. us to go to Bible studies, bro. Let me tell you, you might meet yours in a different settings. Which setting? Like me I'm asking where do you get such women? The answer you could have told me is Bible studies. That's But where we met. The, thing, my stru- the people who I look up to. Mm. They have met their people in very different places. Mm. Completely different places. So at the end of the day I know some So I um how do I put it? My mentor couple, our mentor couple. <laughs> eh. Our wait, wait, couple, you have mentor couple? Yeah. As I keep saying, this thing is 
you're not an inventor of this wheel. Ah, uh, okay, makes sense. You know, makes there sense. some people who have been through it and they have done what you're trying to do. Mm. So the same same thing with bikes. Uh, Oya has owned this unit for a very long time before I was even uh, in thinking of getting one. So he knows something about a GS that I don't know. Definitely. He, he showed me how to <laughs> adjust the suspension. Let me tell you a, a funny story. When I got this unit, I used to ride at night without full lights on because I didn't know how to switch them on. Damn, you know how to kill switch. Because I don't, I didn't know, I didn't understand it mm. until he came in and ah, this one is different. It's not your other brands. You do it this way. I was like, I felt so off. Uh, it felt awkward, but I was like, you know, <laughs> you know something <laughs> that I don't weird. know. That's weird, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing with, with when it comes to marriage, when it comes to dating, when it comes to relationship. So our mentor couple, how they met, it was interesting because they met at a conference, but they didn't see each other. I don't know whether that makes sense. Mm. Until the, then their story is, they it was a hookup. Mm. Like your friends, uh, your, boy, your, your, your guy friends, and her lady friends. They organize you guys to meet. Yeah, because they're like, we know you. There's this lady, if you guys actually link up, you power couple concept. And then the other side, the ladies are actually telling the, 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 the chick the same thing. Same thing, thing eh? So it depends who are your friends. Mm. Who are actually your friends. So you see them, they didn't meet at a Bible study. Yeah, but you get, yeah, like you guys, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but they, 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 theirs was a hookup <laughs> and it actually worked. So at the end of the day, it's, it's different, and that's why I keep saying they are here, we just don't see them. Them, they were in the same conference. They were both speaking, but they didn't see each other. That's but why I keep saying, yeah, they, they have been here. Wow, but now let me ask you, what about his, uh, the ones that are the common ones that we know of? Most of them work. You know, you are on street, you and then you go down, and then you pick the book, and then you pick the book. I love him. I was like, wow. Too many movies. No, no, but it's it's happening. No, I, it happens. I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? I don't know. Apo kwa vitabu tuki inua na hivi tuki angaliana. Akanyambe, excuse me, move. <laughs> I, I move, need to be in move. class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we uku kimbiza. You know, it's for the man to pursue at the end of the day. <laughs> well, sumesema, sumesema wana kwanga hapa sindi otuna wa ignore. Yeah, but, anyway. but you see, pursuing is, you have to pursue even if ako hapo, you have to pursue. You have to actively pursue. Let me yeah. tell you, when I was pursuing my wife, Alikuwa na date mutu. Uli mnyanganya kwa mtu? Ah, mimi kwa mwambia endelea ku date mimi najua nitakuoa. <laughs> <laughs> He's not put a ring on it yet. You know. Yeah. Alafu alikuwa anakuambia uko na jokes. Yeah, let me tell you it's for the, man. the man gets to see and the man gets to pursue. Mm. Okay, I'm not encouraging you to break other people's relationships. Kile big sum amesema hapa ni plain and simple. Nyanganyana. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Mimi sijasema I've not said you as in th- th- that's, that's how you put it mm. but if you have heard that and it will yeah like you basically basically what big sam is saying is that that woman is just there when you mm. ignore so akona mtu when you don't ignore endo mnyanganye tu it's just simple that's <laughs> but anyway yeah i Let get your point you, if, if someone jumps ship they were never on board if you jump ship you are never on board yes that counts for relationship that counts for friendship if they jump ship, they were never on board. Hmm. Wow. Think on it. Yeah, I'll sleep on it, in fact. I'll think about it. But, but congratulations, man. It Thank seems you. like marriage is working for you, well. Eh? Ah, fantastic. Um, and this is some of the rarest thing we get to hear. You know, uh, when you go to social media, it's you know it's the opposite, right? Mm. And uh, that's a good testimony. Happy for you, man. Thank you. Happy for you. Thank you. Ebu, tell me about the kuvilo lianguka na bike. And you've never ujanguka na zedemar. We wacha tuanza na zedemar. Ah, no, no. Let's go back mm. before zedemar. Training school. Kina maika mo anjala. Uh, for some reason, I felt like wakombali sana, but I wish I went there. But when Lienda, when Lienda, we used to do to do it in town, and then one day to kifanya your the drills, you know, mm-hmm. as you you do your theory and then you do your practical. So when we are doing our practical, mm-hmm. nika zunguka, you are zunguka in the same place. Mm-hmm. Nika zunguka mara ya kwanza, ah, nika feel ni mianza kupata confidence. Nika lapia kumi. So what I did, I didn't know. Mm. That when you're doing that, that thing that you're doing I- this week at Tika Rodimaku, that concept of cornering, mm. I didn't know you have to decelerate. Do not accelerate when you're approaching a corner mm. or a bend. 
So mimi ni You maintain a throttle. Maintain yeah. the throttle but you don't accelerate. Mm. Eh hey, ndugu yangu hapa mimi nilikuwa nisha feel nishakuwa wale wase. Rosi. We? Unaweza chapa ni down hapo watu wa shuti. Wacha kupiga hiyo kona. I came in hot. The Demar style. Ra, mpaka kwa mtaro. Oh! And then bike ika kwama like this 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 um what are they called the, the, crash the levers or levers, levers for holding the yeah. Zika kwama ndani ya mawe na uko ndani. It took three grown human beings to pull out that bike from from penye ilikuwa imekwama. Damn. Na ili tolewa hivi kaanza ku leak sijui nini. Yaani it was <laughs> like guy. <laughs> Ilikuja na shida zake. <laughs> yaani hata sijamaliza shule nishaharibu bike ya wenyewe. Ikuwa yako. Si ni ya shule. <laughs> oh, so melipia. <laughs> Alafu wewe ni lana. I paid for some damages but way that was my first crash. <laughs> I still have some marks on my legs to show for it. Hizo zinakuanga hapo ukumbusho. Manze. Fast forward ni kona za Demar. My first fall with the Demar ilikuwa mbele ya makarao. Eh, nilianguka kwa makarao hapo. They were the ones who alikuwa ananiinua. Ani sasa nilipost hiyo kwa group nikasikia watu wameniambia uli panic. Wait. Let me tell you nilishika break ya. Where where was this? My front brakes it was at Outarin. No, uh, you see this this uh, outering road mm. ukiwa umetoka um, uh, Kangudo road mm. that katan there nimeenda nimeona makarao mbele kulikuwa na mchanga me i didn't know you are not supposed to break the front brakes it seems like you didn't know a lot of things eh, i didn't know a lot of things mm. but i was still green we uta high side nili skid nika lamba chini flat flat I love I was nime panic 10 times because there are two cops in front of me. Traffic police and uh, the bike cop. I go like mimi nimeenda ndani. Hivyo mm. <laughs> na injury zako. Na injury zangu. Mm. Ah, but the cops were so gracious. Wao ndio walininulia bike. Mm. Wakaniambia pole hizi vitu zio happen. Nilisikia tu nimeambiwa hapo ndio nililearn about you are not supposed to break kwa kwa mchanga. I'm like huko na hii mchanga <laughs> Na ukapiga break ya kwanza ya mbele pole 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 So that's how yeah, I next time utafanya hivyo tena I never that is a mistake I've never repeated Niko na shamba Niko na shamba hapo the second fall was actually the same spot up ahead mm. that junction ya buru mm. but now that one was manzi this one I'll talk to all the guys who are drivers <laughs> the cages what to respect manzi respect at a kando just use two things use your indicator niko kwa kamera gani kwanza niwaangalie directly eh the use director your indicator and use your Uko kwa side mirror camera mm. you know use your indicator and use your side mirror you will save a biker's life definitely yeah because the moment you indicate it tells me i'm not start reducing my speed because mm. unaenda hiyo side you mm. know eh, at the end of the day i'm able to to you know work around my moves because especially with a super bike kwanza hawa kina kati hapa umse akifinya hii kitu inakuwa 200 km kph ikiwa 200 your movement inasaidiaga uki decide uki decide kuweka indicator inamwambia eh, slow down this person is moving this side mm. so indicator saves lives you checking your side mirror saves lives asante sana thank you Okay on that note najua amesema kina Katis but mimi specifically sis Jai Fikata 200 <laughs> but but his point is anyone who rides a sport bike yeah. and anenanga like the bike is very torquey iko na power and it's capable of doing high speeds yeah. and uh, you might think that the person is co- is, is still too far yeah. but in real sense akawa po karibu na yeye sio yeah so kindly be be kind share the road uh, share the road it at idea So the third fall was with the with the other bike that mm. we are not counting. Oh, Nili, yeah, Nili. Yeah, count. That is when I learned that eh, when I'm buying the next bike it has to have ABS. Do if I had ABS I would not have. What do ABS do? Anti lock. It yes, helps with it doesn't lock. The brakes don't lock when you when you when you engage emergency brakes. They don't lock. So what happens when they lock bike you kurusha when they lock yes because it's it's like uh, the inertia inakuacha because sasa bike it a lock wewe ikurusha huko mbele 
Moha can explain better. <laughs> Moha ule alingia chini ya Moha alipita chini ya gari mm. because of Na akaanza kuunda crankshaft huko <laughs> chini. <laughs> because of Hata kaambia huyo mwenye hiyo pick up bro. You need yeah. to check your brake pads. Oh, yeah. Unajua hapo chini ni muona In fact that technology was picked <laughs> from, from the planes. Mm. Cuz they are the ones oh, who landing yeah, and nini. Landing hiyo anti anti lock cuz the moment you it locks it jacks you. Na unajua sasa hii haina uwe gongi windscreen unatoka unaenda ukiandaga. Mm. But now when with, with the ABS Head engaged on. you are able to the bike counters. It counters, it counters that, the lock. Uh, that lock yes. Ah. So at least it doesn't jack you it doesn't throw you away. But it, the brakes will work properly it will slow down with oh, yeah. like an emergency but yes. at the same time it's not going to lock to throw you. To throw you yes. Oh so that is least, nice. Yeah. So that uh, after learning that I was like we so again biking the, the the beauty about bikes by the way it's a learning experience you learn every day and the only way you learn you learn on top of this bike not theory when you walk park bike za tafadhali and then you sit time right? yeah you, do, you you learn as you go and again another thing that i learned uh, make sure you have all the gear all the time hata kama unatoka hapo uende ku shop ama kununua mkate that should be emphasized always Mm. Whether ni the boots, whether it's the knee guards, whether it's the jacket, whether it's the helmet, all the gear all the time. Yeah. Always. So yeah, that's 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 how I would put it. So hiyo ilianguka tulikuwa Eldoret. Tulikuwa tunaelekea Eldoret. Mm. Kwa mteremko, the guys who are in front, they saw a scenario they waka break. But now mm. so when they uh, wali break na mimi nilikuwa nyuma yao nika nikawaona nika tu because it was foggy it was raining so i just had breaked bike ka lock ikateleza juu kuna mvua sisi wote tukalamba chini so nilifuatana tu nilifuatana tu mbona hii story hatukuambiwa uli bribe watu wa nyamaze itu litungisema kanyagieni bana eh ulijua tu ingeingia kwa mtandao i was so na tulikuwa tumefika ld nilikuwa na uoga so much that the next once nilituli nilisaidiwa kuinua hiyo bike nili move at 20 kilometers per hour yeah it's always like that you 20 So the trauma Muha was very gracious with me because I, I keep referring to again who are your friends mm. Muha rode with me at 20 and yeah kona super bike mm. until I regained back my confidence because mm. our highways at 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 110 mm. so me at Nico 20 msana is at 110 but I'm choose to go at 20, 20 with you with you so that is that was, the that same time yenye muhapi aka sasa muha tukirudi hiyo story ilikuwa sasa yeye yeah, kurudi tukirudi na unajua muha hiyo time <laughs> juzi juzi tu alikuwa amepokea ingine huko <laughs> bypass <laughs> muha tuna tuna need that kumwekelea mikono ah, <laughs> the life of a cat <laughs> but eh hey. hey, maze yeah, yeah, yeah huyo jamaa yeah. kona nine lives but that's the thing um again with proper gear even if you fall even if you go down you don't get hurt as much as if you would not have the gear yeah so that is true. it's it's, it's uh, and again even to encourage the guys who always say oh motorcycle is dangerous weirdly enough half the time the accidents happen because of another person not even because of you and everything is dangerous because yeah, everything is dangerous you can get an accident anywhere again uh, i like the um, the 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 tagline for bmw mm. you know life is a ride yeah yeah That's yeah, the you can look at the helmet that it's like yeah. Now yeah, Jai tuambia ana vanga tu helmet hapa. Yeah, life life li, life make is Make life ride. make life a ride. Yeah. Cuz life is a ride, so make it a ride as well. So that's why we ride. Life is a ride. Yeah, that's my new yeah. tagline. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, so at the end of the day why not enjoy it? I remember there was a we we went for that that ride for the ladies last Sunday. Mm. Um and while we are riding i remember when we parked at uh, at um, the, golf. the golf club that mm. we are at uh, just enjoying what was it called I, i forgot the name ndakumbuka hiyo jina iko huko kiambu mega mega yeah, yeah wow. mega. when we were parked there's a there's an old mze who was riding a bmw now the car in this case an x5 and i remember he came and he was like young man enjoy life Really eh? Yeah, he was like this is a good one. Enjoy life. And I was like, yes. 
You're feeling it. You're feeling it. Ah, you made the like good it. you made the you made the right choice. You made the right choice, you know. So no regrets, uh, but yeah. at the end of the day, you get to be careful. You get to take the necessary precautions. It's not like now you get to be reckless. Mm. That's the thing with like Nimambi and enjoy. Yeah, don't be reckless. That's why we always say all the gear all the all time. All the time. Mm. Yeah. So make sure you do the same. Do the right speeds on the right uh, road. Do the uh, the right lane. Uh, uh, there's something called lane discipline. Mm. You know, mm. like there's a lot that you get to learn. And when you are here to your side, and the guys with the cars are here to their side, the guys with the cyc- who are cycling are here to their side, the border border guys are here to their side. We all get to ride and go back home safe. And there are many ways you can learn. You can learn through experience, which is a lifetime. And mm. also you can get you can reach out to Kina Coach Mika and Kina. Uh, wasike, wasike. Yeah. yeah they 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 offer good training about what you're saying about mm-hmm. lane discipline oh, yeah. lane splitting riding you know being careful awareness it's very very important by the way oh, you yeah. guys need to know that mm, definitely mm. definitely always ask as i, I, as I yeah, keep referring ask. back again over and over again guys this life uh whatever you are trying to do someone has done it there is nothing new under the sun so if there is nothing new under the sun, why don't you consult with the masters who have been there, done that? You will save yourself a whole lot of stress, a whole lot of pressure, a whole lot of a lot of bikes. I have owned 10 bikes before I owned this one. Because you be you don't know the exact bike that you need. Because you never asked anyway. Because mm. yeah, so you bike tisa sasa. Manzi. Now you get it right. You spent a lot of money. A lot of, hey, and, and a lot of life. Yeah, by the way, that is so true. So, yeah. That's how I would say ZMR to GS. Mm. <laughs> yeah, ZMR to GS, not sport bike. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you know, when they say once you go GS, you never go. It's, ah, it's very, it's go. it's it's my dream bike or the African twin. Mm-hmm. But uh, I know I still can't let go of the sport bike. I I love yeah. thrill. You know, thrill is really good. Yeah. And you, I I I still know for you it's the height issues and money and stuff. Otherwise, if it was not for that, I know you'd be with us. We'll one day get bike. a super bike. Actually, because yeah. at the end of the day, chat uh, fanya kazi to pata pesa. You know, you pesa. At the end of the day. Everything bends to you. No, no, no. Everything bends to your will. So in this case, uh, Pesamzuri Kingia, uh, who's, who, who will stop me from saying customize my bike to these specs? Yeah, you so need. <laughs> me. Yeah, but that's true. You need to look for Kimeu. Yeah. Alisema pesa ukita kwa nezapata. So anajua ni wapi. Alisema ina Nairobi anajua makona. Kimeu, we are still waiting for you to tell us. Si pesa i tunezapata aje. S one K money. <laughs> still yes, one came on. Yes, one came on. Yes. Yes. Ni ukitaka kuna venye tu unaweza unaweza pata. Every time you are going down, what was your wife saying? Ah, so here is the other thing. I know people who are in this biking community who will not share full information with their spouse. Anaenda na oga na panguza hizo vitu hapo. Eh, na hata hata isema. Mwingine akinunua helmet ni kwani because these things are expensive by the way. good gear is expensive. Mm. Akinunua anakuja anasema alipewa. Aju <laughs> ukisema. Ukisema <laughs> <laughs> bei. But here is the thing. Um when you have a life partner. Yeah. Who is actually your partner? Yeah. Some of these things you actually do together. Mhm. How I got these boots, how I got what I have in terms of gear is we always agree we always talk and i'm like the budget and next month nataka ku i need a new boot uh, and this is the amount na hizi boots ni za 50000 where us it ends about the bay we we to say na sema tu unajua unataka ukitole ukaambiwa ile utafika ngapi we we so at the end of the day unakuta you to get proper gear you just talk cuz this is your partner as well you know mm-hmm. you just agree so now when it comes to going down talk to your partner Again, different people, different reaction, responses. Get to know how they react. Get to know how they respond. Get to know how you can, if if Nuala was to panic, package it in a way that they can mm. digest it. You know, can absorb they, it and they you can absorb it. Okay. But if there's a person who, ca- my wife is a person who will be like, if something happens, tell me. Just tell me. Just tell me. Because he always insists, I know how to move when I know. Mm. But if I don't know, I don't know how to move. So even if I go for a ride where she's not um, when when I'm not pillioning her and for one reason or another I have to go for a ride without her I always share with her I always share my location with her mm. not because that yanataka kuniona ulienda wapi ulipita mm, wapi mm-hmm. no for your for, own for 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 my own sake cuz mm. she's my um, next of kin mm. she's the one if something happens she'll be called you know mm. so 
when we do it collaboratively, things work. So when I went down, me went and pick a story. I mean, I'm going to run a PGA story in a common kit of Flani, poor Sana, will come up and come Yeah, because at the end of the day, you have to know. And she appreciates that fact. We are open. I'm open to mm. it. I'm mm. open. I always tell her. So, at a bike, you want issue, I'll always say, Hey, uh, bike, you even naive, because at the end of the day, uh, if I'm if she's in my professional pillion, you know, we have to take care of, of the bike. Mm. We have to take care even her, she has full gear mm. from riding pants that uh, uh, have the protective gear to if she doesn't want to do the whole riding gear she has her own knee guards her own uh, shoes the jacket the helmet everything because mm. at the end of the day i keep saying she's my partner so mm. she gets to know same way she knows what i have in my account so she gets to know what happens with my health yeah, yeah, very important. wengine <laughs> like I'm speaking on their behalf, <laughs> not that I've experienced it. Unajua kuna wale wanasema tell me I won't get mad. <laughs> and then you can Alafu akimwambia, unaona hewa ina change kidogo, eh, kupumua ina change, temperature ina change. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> you know that kind of <laughs> But it's, uh, as I said, know your person. Yeah, true, true, true. When yeah. you know your person, you get to know how you get to approach some situations. You get to know how you get to speak to them. But mm. by all means, don't keep secrets. Mm. Okay, so, so that is nice. As we wind up, have you told me about the GS, how you went down with the GS, no? Eh, no. We, we, so GS have, have, have gone down three times, actually. Yeah, but the first time I went down, I went down while we were training. So okay. I went for an off-road training. Mm. So here is the thing, it is a controlled environment. Mm. So in, in, even if uh, I went I went down, I didn't get hurt as much because mm. I rode back home. Mm. And Baron Kapigia, my wife's stories. Kama kawaida. Kama kawaida. Aniambia, yani unacheka tu hapa. Unajiripot kabla CCTV kuripot. Ni muhimu. So I went down, um, mm. but we, when we were doing the off-road training, uh, there is a misstep that I did during the training. Mm. Again, uh, based off the training, we had to switch off all the traction control and ABS in that case because we were training for uh, extreme adventure. But then, uh, what, the, the, what I was supposed to do, I did it wrong. I was supposed to brake using the rear brake, but I did it with the front brake. Mm. So that's how I went down. But again, it was in a controlled environment, mm. so that was my first fall. That helped me not to fall when I went to the off-road trails. Mm. But then, uh, I remember, <laughs> hey, let me tell you, I have to focus. The first time I fell, or rather now off-road sasa nikiwa kwa barabara niliyanguka tukiwa na huko Muranga and uh, I remember I had placed my power bank inside my jacket mm. but then I had not zipped siku ni meifungia eh. so to keep panda mlima mm. power bank katoka kwa mfuko so that is uh, nikienda kuirudisha kwa mfuko that's how I lost control of the bike mm. ikaanguka again I didn't get hurt ni bike tu ilianguka and the power bank the power bank, I saved it. It Ah, oh, thank God. The power so, bank was safe. Eh, <laughs> let me tell you, you need, you need to have minimal distractions when you're riding. So that's another lesson that I got to learn. So keep, uh, since I have a top box, keep everything hooko. To avoid distractions. To avoid distractions. Mm. Avoid all distractions by all means. Consta keeps saying about distractions. Mm. So the second time I fell, um, it was a very steep slope. And I, I could not control my bike properly. So that's how I ended up dropping. So those two instances, I ideally, I dropped the bike. I didn't fall. I dropped the bike. I think that's how best I could define it. And I, again, uh, I was fully geared. So I didn't have any injury on my end. But I dropped the bike. Mm. And again, I learned from those experiences. Mm. So yeah. That is, well... You learn from experience, just like uh, we had mentioned earlier, yeah? yeah? Very nice. Now, last question, and then uh, we wind up. Uh, normally, I ask bikers, what advice do you have for guys who are trying to get into biking, aspiring bikers, you know, those kind of people. But now, I want you to briefly explain uh, Bikers Family Fest. What, mm. what, what normally happens during the Bikers Family Fest? All right. Um, this year, by the way, this is an open invitation to everyone. We'll be having the Bikers Family Fest X. So this is the X edition. Uh, Meaning? Um, the 10th edition. Mm. Uh, it will be at Waterfront Current. 
from 10 a.m. all the way to 6 till 6. Uh, it will be happening on August 10th. August 10th. Does so it happen once a year? Or? Once a year. Mm. Uh, hopefully we'll get enough funding that we can be able to do it multiple times a year. But currently what we can manage is once a year. Um, so if you're out there and you want to partner, you want to sponsor, why not? Just reach out to us. Mm. Uh, or you can even write down on the, or when you get this podcast, just to Andikia. To Start with Black yeah. Rose Limited. Mm. Hey, Black Rose are already our partners. Oh, nice. Uh, in fact, one of the, the things that they, they got to do is they partnered, as you can see, Black Rose, sponsored by Black Rose. This was um, mm. uh, the award for for last year's uh, family fest that was the ninth edition mm. uh, these are our logo these uh, so you can follow us on family fest ke and at back to b2b B concepts uh, back what back to basics ke uh, or rather b2b concepts mm. ke you can get to uh, to find us online uh, or family fest ke Mm. And that way you are able to follow us and uh, see what we do and what we are all about. So this is one of the awards uh, crafted by Black Rose Garage. And uh, they were one of the sponsors. So yeah. So mm. well, What are the awards for? Like, Do you have like competitions? Yes, we normally have competitions. There is tug of war happening. Ah, okay. yeah, there is eating competition. Najua kuna wase kadhaa wanapenda hiyo sana sana. Waluya. Waluya. Walunje. So, again, tug of war is open to all. You don't necessarily have to be a biker to be to, to compete in most of these things. Because kuna band, badminton, table tennis, giant jenga. There are a lot of games, both adults and kids. So kids, we have a kids section. So it's an event. Uh, you asked about Family Fest. Family Fest is an event that is a, for the whole family, mm. from the little ones to the even the nursing mothers. We have a tent separate for them, mm. uh, for the nursing mothers. We have a tent for the techie guys, for the gamers. We have the, their tent separate. Like we have uh, everything that caters for everyone. And it's a proper festival drawn for the, from the African festivals that used to have music, food. So they used to have dance, food, music, and games. All that is encompassed at the, at the Family Fest. Uh, we get to ride in the morning with some of our partners like Shell. They get to fuel our bikes. We get to ride all the way uh, and, and for different courses. Uh, last year, we were joined by the cyclists as well. Yeah. This year, we'll be joined by, 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 by the car communities as well. Mm. Uh, we get to ride. because Everyone whole, is invited. Everyone is invited. And then we get to ride. We get to, once we get there, there are games. There is food, a lot of food. From food very important. Food very important. African dish, Kwanzaa sana sana. And of course, even last year we had uh, the, the likes of chicken in coming in, so we had a lot of chicken and pizzas. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> the food is amazing. So Can you imagine a lot of all food. that food? <sighs> My Naishang. Naishang. You get to carry some home. Yes, but of course. Yeah. So we get to do tug of war. We get to do those badminton, table tennis. We get. Uh, we had a whole setup, courtesy of Black Rose, and guys used to have. Uh, were getting their bikes checked up at at the venue. Um, we, we like for free, like, like assessments and stuff. There was assessment, mm. and then Shell was launching some new oil. There are some people who got f few free uh, oil change. Uh, uh, courtesy of uh, again family fest so there's a lot of goodies that people get to enjoy on the day uh the cleanest bike gets an award yeah you i know, missed the one the, yeah, the, the, the best customized bike gets an award i'm curious which was the cleanest bike last time hey, last time i hear it was tony's who's tony tony uh, uh nani uh hr, ZD, yeah, HR. tony the hr's bike is he, the cleanest yeah it was the cleanest because he year. washed it Ama. i don't know i think he cleaned it so yeah uh, uh why not join us join us this year that's what happens there's a lot that happens there's a kids section as i explained it's for the whole family um so yeah join us homeboys normally partner with us they give us proper gear so trust you me it's a proper festival no jokes here. No jokes here. With the A-list as artists. So, tuna, tuna really? Gain aweza. Yes. Like you guys get Saudi Soul and stuff. So, uh, we, we, we previously, we've, we've done Giuliani. Oh. We've done Masi Masika. We've done Moji. Uh, Shot Baba. We've done Ekodida. We've why done only gospel Chris, artists? Chris Ero. This is the reason as to why we, 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 we strictly do it gospel because, uh, at least for the entertainment bit, because as I s explained, it's a family event. Oh. It's for the whole family. Mm. And so far, the cleanest music we have is gospel music. We don't want... We, we don't want... These other ones we, don't want. we know about. <laughs> yeah, we don't want. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Clean, clean content. Clean content. Clean the airwaves, mm. as my very good <laughs> friend says, CTA. 
clean the airwaves. Yeah, clean the airwaves. Oh, yes. ah, that is nice. That is nice, mm. man. Um, I've never attended one. Uh, most of the time, by the time you uh, the dates collide, probably I'm working and then the bike fest is happening. Last year, um, I, uh, in 2022, when it was happening and I was still getting new into biking, I got an accident. Hey, pole, pole, <laughs> Last pole, year, Nika travel. And then, uh, now this year? Yeah, I hope. I hope you I'm have hoping. booked. You have had. You mm. have had the dates mm. early enough. Mm. Uh, again, August 10th. Uh, at Waterfront. For don't party attend your podcast. Uh, we uh, by the way we can we can make it work. Why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, Lisa say una fine in Yeah, why do you like it, it here? We can develop content. Why not? Mm. Mm. Let's let's whatever we we can to get this biking community out there. And again, guys, beyond us biking, beyond under the helmet, there is a lot of people under these helmets. Mm. We have doctors. We have accountants, we have HRs, you know. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have so many people uh, under these helmets. By the way, sometimes we need to humanize this experience. For example, personally, uh, professionally, I'm an architect. I have a diploma in two degrees in architecture. Mm-hmm. Uh, so come on, attack a nyumba, interior design, mm. stage designs, you know. Uh, we are here for you, you know. Ni number two to take up chini. We can design everything that you need. Mechoro um, yeah. Company in eight waje? Currently, I'm working under someone. Uh, mm. but big Sam and Co. Uh, big <laughs> in Akuja. In eight wa, uh, my company to be launched soon. Mm. In eight was Solis and Sanctum. What? Yeah. Solis so? and Scutum. This is huh? means uh it's um I'm a Christian and the Bible says that the Lord is my son and shield. So Solis is the son, Scutum is a shield. In what language? In in uh e language uh, That's not Lua, it's not Kikuyu, it's not Luya. What language is that, bro? We 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 go it's it, it's called um Italian? Yeah, it's Italian. So uh, we, we pick. We pick <laughs> are you sure? We pick. We pick. We pick from. In fact, at the end of Greek. Hmm. Yeah, but we decided to pick that name. Na bike kama, as in to travel, adventure. We will travel <laughs> to South Africa. <laughs> bike face the end of Uko. To end <laughs> Italy. To end Germany. You know. Uh, but yeah. yeah uh, it's a journey. Mm, mm. We choose. We choose to do what we need to do. Uh, so yeah, behind the helmet there is uh, there is a father, there is a husband, there is a wife somewhere. You and know. bike fest brings all these bikers together. Oh, yeah. They remove their helmet and mm-hmm. interact, and you get and to know. Oh, and okay. Enjoy and, and have fun together. Mm. So yeah. That is nice, by the way. You, you're all about connecting people and bringing oh, people yeah. together. Definitely. I really like what you're doing and your plans and initiative, and I wish you all the yeah. best. I, I, I'm I looking forward to seeing how these things will go on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so what is the parting shot you have for bikers out there? Guys, let's collaborate. I'm big on collaboration vis a vis competition. Mm. When we collaborate, things work. That's when we true. collaborate, our voice is heard. When we collaborate, whatever we are able to achieve uh, in a day is reduced in hours. Whatever we were supposed to achieve in years is reduced to days. Because at the end of the day, there is your, your strength is not mine. But my strength is not yours. So when we collaborate, ideally we are bringing in two different strengths to achieve something in far much less time that we, than we would have achieved it. The other thing that I would advise all the bikers, kindly sign up to pay back. Mm. Kindly sign up. It, it 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 benefits you to to be a member of this association. That way, because you know the country that we are in, everything is numbers. Mm. And when you all sign up, we get to have that voice in unison. And if you haven't joined a Nyumbakumi near you, make sure you do. Uh, you can ask uh, the questions. You can share where you are from, where you work, and then we can refer you to the nearest Nyumbakumi to you. Yeah. The nearest. We have branches. Multiple. We have Thikarod Nyumbakumi, of course, the reigning champion. Yeah, we are, a, we are a republic. Mm-hmm. And then we have multiple others from Kiamburo, Nyumbakumi, Loakabete, Lakiki. Our current president mm-hmm. is right here. Yes. You are welcome to join Thikarod Nyumbakumi if you live or work around Thikarod. Uh, why not? Hala at us. Now you and your cabinet, do you have opposition? Yeah, we have opposition. Who is the opposition? Uh, what we are our name? <laughs> <laughs> Max. <laughs> Chief Whip. <laughs> yeah, Chief Whip. 
Yeah, uh, he, he <laughs> came in close second uh, mm. when because uh, when we were buying. Mm. Uh, but it's it's always nice to have a position because now they mm. get to keep you in check. Mm. Uh, Ulisema. So far you are doing good. Yeah, so far we are doing good. Mm. Uh, Kabla whips is Kabla whips okay. In, yeah, yeah, so far <laughs> we are doing good. So we keep we keep at it because mm. you cannot be uh, a god unto yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. Mm. Asante sana Big Sam. Thank, uh, you. thank you for coming. Thank You're you welcome. for sparing some time to come to my show to talk about this. Okay. And uh, you've shed some light. Bikers wa miskiza, uh, point zako za marriage, za bike and everything, <laughs> the journey. <laughs> Muhimu sana. Yeah. I can't say much about it. Yeah. But I'm wishing you all the best in all your endeavors. Asante. Yeah. Thank Asante. you so much. Asante thank sana. You. You're welcome. Have a good one. Papa, I'm going to